Hi, so I was asked about the MOSFET inside this BMS, so I thought this is a really interesting subject to know which components uh, they're using and also which may be a microcontroller or processor they're using inside. So let's open this up and see what we can learn from inside. So I have four screws, Philips screws, hopefully everything will be opened easily. So one, two, three, these are tiny screws, I think about two millimeters. Uh, diameter okay aha uh -huh. so yes of course there is a microcontroller processor I can't see the number I think maybe uh, they uh, delete it or they don't want us to know which which one they are using and trying to open it but about the MOSFET, yes, I can see the MOSFET number. This is KIA two zero o three A. By the way, there is another uh, balancer or chip or something here. So as expected, a lot of electronics consider this BMS. So let's search for the MOSFET. So again, KIA. Uh, two eight two eight zero three a data sheet and searching on Google of course to see and uh, I have ULN but not I have KIA let's see which data sheet yes mm -hmm. I got the data sheet so I got it and now I will go over so the RDS is 2.2 milli ohms the VGS is 10 volts low resistance fast switching and let's see about the current this is what is the most interesting okay so continuous drain current for each MOSFET here is 150 amps whoa and the pulse current is 600 amps and the maximum power dissipation per part is 160 watts so this cover all uh, the MOSFET here uh, by the way if you will a switch to uh, HD mode you will see you can see the number uh, the KIA on the MOSFET itself here yes I think uh, if I can sit on the camera so you will be able to see it also and basically that's all uh, another interesting maybe part to see we have you uh, these are the uh, million or sub million resistor where we are uh, of course measuring the current because the current that is going through the serial resistors is measured and amplification amplification by uh, the, the amplifier and other parts and then we know the current that is going out uh, there is a heat sink spreader a rubber here and again a lot of electronics as expected so we have one chip here we have this MOSFET these resistors and this is the controller of the, the board and there is additional chip ah, it's pity I can't see the number I think uh, they did delete it probably on purpose because they don't want to copy or maybe the, this is their own chip but bottom line a very good BMS so hope it helps uh, anyone and uh, that's all now let's 
try to put everything back together uh, if you are opening it make sure of course to tighten uh, the screws back because this is all about the heatsink and one screw I, I see that I lost one screw here how come I know it is on the paper itself and uh, this of course uh, paper is to isolate anything that may touch the PCB components from outside so don't forget to put it back after disassembly if you will disassemble it and uh, hope this helps yes need to put it exactly maybe I will use a better screwdriver this aha it's not in the correct place so it can close correctly so you need to be very accurate when closing everything back Aha, now I'm in the right place. Everything is okay. So we have uh, a lot of electronics as expected. And this looks pretty promising. So bottom all, I see it is equipped as DALI uh, BMS and maybe even a little better with the application so we have everything and don't forget to tighten all the heat spreader you, you if you will see it I will try to put it to the camera here it's, uh, it's in inside here we have the rubber and the heat sink uh, is that need to be attached very well of course for the heat spreader because if you will use the maximum current out so it will get hit and you want to cool the MOSFET because otherwise it may burn out so thank you and bye